hi guys welcome to the second video on my youtube channel thank you so so much for being here today thank you for subscribing for liking for commenting but most of all thank you for your feedback now i have decided to do an entire uh, series around the renovation of the house where i'm living now this is a rental house this is this is not my own personal space but uh, when i moved in here the landlord was not really ready to move out she was living in the house but she had like two homes and she was maintaining this house for when her she needs to come into town to do stuff so i kind of kicked her out of her own house i negotiated with her i said okay fine uh, because she was not ready to move out she was not ready to paint she was not ready to do a lot of work she did just the basic work so when you see the before footage of the house please do not judge do not judge the landlord do not judge me for moving into such a house when i first came into this space i fell in love with the compound i'll, I'll give you a video about showing you how the compound looks so that you totally understand why i took the house in the state that it was but the main motivating factor is that i needed space so now i have been here about one year take or give and i have procrastinated for the longest time i kept on waiting for the right time to do it waiting for the right colors i'm filming this off the fly and so i don't know how long it's going to take i do not have a plan what i do have is a lot of leftover paint from previous projects uh from projects i've done in my previous house i had done in the office and i had done in my mom's house in the village there are parts of this house where i had started painting like the living room i painted it i reached halfway the spray paint machine just jammed up on me and it has been like that since august of last year i've just been sitting and looking at a half painted wall so today i am completing the painting on the living room walls we first start by removing everything from the walls moving the furniture out of the way taking down the existing curtains, opening all windows and doors and making sure the house is completely aerated. So I'm just about to start and I feel like I want to share with you one of my absolute pet peeves, cables. See these wires that run across the ceiling, like this particular one going all the way across the ceiling, down the wall, like wires going like all the way across you find somebody putting a wire across the ceiling please just stop
the best part about putting this protective film on the floor basically is that when you fold it most of the dirt goes along with it so you remain with a clean and neat floor i like to always go back in with the mop just to remove any extra dirt that may have remained behind Okay, it's the following day and I'm happy to say that I managed to paint the whole living room. It took me a lot of time because I was using a paint brush to paint the windows which I've never done. I usually use spray but I wanted you to see how relatively simple it is. Well that was not simple. <laughs> I just want you to see that it's possible to paint using a paint brush. Now that oil paint I didn't particularly like it I ended up sleeping with the windows open I left the fan on so that you know that smell could dissipate it wasn't so strong because I started in the morning but there was still some leftover smell so I'm just about to show you everything I did yesterday today I'm going to remove the tape from the windows I only painted the inside part I'll do the outside part probably when I am doing the balcony it's still basically in a mess but I'll just show you at what point I left it. I tried to cover up those wires with paint but unfortunately I wasn't successful. They are still showing, I'll probably wait to get a technician to come and fit it in through the window. 